Hello Gemini, welcome back in. Let's see what messages show up for you, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Reverse the roles if needed, switch the cases. You know you don't have to force a reading on your situation, Gemini. Let's see. What do you need to hear? Oh my god, a lot of cards. A whole lot of cards, okay. What do you need to hear? A message show up for you. Let's dive in. The Gemini. Interesting. Thank you. Okay. This is for Gemini. We have elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So whatever changes you're going through, or whatever changes you will be going through in this week and in this month, you are going to eventually come out more wiser. Right? Some lessons, some understandings. Wonderful. Let's see. We have target. A goal-oriented person. For a lot of you, you might be meeting this person. And this week, Gemini, this person is very focused. And somehow, um, you are having that learning from this person. This can be that eventual viserness, this, you know, uh, the energy of being more viser as you meet this person, right? Oh, horseshoe. Good luck. Now, this is that shoe horse energy, you know? Good luck. Good luck, honey. Uh, good luck is following you. Destiny is there supporting you. Definitely very positive cards still now. Cup. You should accept valid criticism. Now, very interesting energy, you know. For a lot of you, there is a person coming into your life, very focused, very oriented. Uh, you might be dealing with this person right now. You know, this person has a personality of being very, um, very solid, very solid personality, very honest sort of personality. But sometimes we need to set boundaries. They're definitely bringing positive energy towards you, but they might bring in some criticism as well. So just accept. You have two messages in this card. Number one, you should accept valid criticism. So if this person is giving you valid criticism, accept it, learn it, change it within you, because towards the end of this time period, you are going to be coming out more wiser, right? Much more. But there's another caution here also that you should only accept valid criticism. Do not let somebody put you down unnecessary or uh, pull you down or, you know, um, do not take unnecessary blames. Do not get into the guilt trap or just, just accept the things you need to change in you. You think that that's valid. Learn from it. Improvise it and move on. Move on, right? That's the, that's the thing here. We also have a dog. Oh, wow. Dog energy. Protection from a powerful friend. Again, I'm strongly picking up that there is somebody around you who is very strong, wise, with a beautiful personality. This person is giving you some, um, I won't say validation, but somehow this person is bringing a lot of uh, um, upliftment in your energy. They are bringing, what should I say? They are... Um, you know, um, what should I say? Guiding you beautifully. This beautiful guidance here. And look at the bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. Now this person might be your admirer, actually. They might be a secret admirer. This person is here. Very interesting energy till now. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what cards say for you, Taurus. Definitely reverse the roles again if needed. Switch the cases. Do not force the reading on your situation. Right? This is for Taurus. So there is an important person here. Right? And one thing I can assure you here is that you're moving towards good luck. You're moving towards positivity. This person is definitely a catalyst in that. So do listen to this person. Wonderful energy. Where you're coming from? Let's see. The hangman. For a lot of you, you are stuck right now or you are at a place where you're not moving forward, right? You might feel that my things are getting delayed, my situations are getting delayed. Yeah, God. Both the cards talking about patience, delays, waiting for something to arrive, right? Staying strong and staying positive that eventually it is going to come, it is going to be there. But again, trying to stay solid, trying to say, um, despite of the energy of patience and waiting, you're strongly waiting for it. You're ready to wait. For a lot of you, again, I'm getting the same message that somebody might be the catalyst. Catalyst in the situation, right? Very interesting message. Oh boy, devil is here. Are we going to clarify first? Look at the major arcanas. 
holy tower gemini had the similar message in the second row so do i'm sorry gemini taurus had the similar message so just see if you're dealing with a taurus or you have strong dominant taurus energy in your chart look at that devil and tower who very interesting i'm going to clarify something that's like a blockage here something that is stopping you from moving forward some toxicity in your surroundings um boom it's shattering down very positive energy till now let's see well for a lot of you i see when this tower movement takes place you're going to be surprised at first right you might even step into some regrets or now for a lot of you be careful that this tower moment is coming in as a criticism, right? Again, you have to be very careful and remember the message in the beginning we received, whatever message we received in the beginning, that you have to and have to be careful and only accept positive, constructive criticism. If any point, if at any point, somebody is bringing in a negative criticism or trying to just pull you down, force you into a guilt trap or just force you into regretful energy, do not accept it because for a moment something like that can happen so you have to be careful right gemini do not let anybody put you in the guilt trap for a lot of you this is something you've been waiting for a very long time and look at the cards of patience and waiting look at that three of wands oh that look at that aha moment finally happens and the moment that sun rises, the moment that energy comes in, that message, that call, that promotion, or that something you're waiting on to, the moment it happens, maybe a proposal you're waiting from someone, the moment it happens, it's going to be aha moment for you, right? Aha moment for you. Look at that. Wonderful. Be aware of Seven of Swords energy, sneaky energy in your surroundings. Let's see. Ace of Swords. Whoa. People watch out for ego also. Don't let ego step in. But for a lot of you, it's like the truth is finally coming out. Something you needed to hear. And it's like an aha moment for you. Look at that. Oh my God. We have eight of pentacles, five of wands, king of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy again. Might be dealing with the specific Taurus energy. The moon. Okay. So finally, I'm picking up that somebody was bringing in conflict into your life. That conflict is getting over. Look at the positivity in this reading. Look at the positivity in the reading, Gemini. Again, there is a clear message that you don't have to accept any sort of destructive criticism, negative criticism, negative comments. Or the moment you, you have to realize when are people just here to pull you down? Are they actually your will wishers or are they actually trying to just pull you down? You have to be careful with that kind of energy, right? Let's see. Okay, this is for, this is for Gemini. Why is this hangman in it? Let's start with this row. Let's clarify a few cards here. Why are you stuck? Oh my God, is this a love connection? Is this a lover's, a lover's energy? Choices, decisions. Choices, decisions, interesting. Wonderful. Why are you stuck? Let's see. Oh, you have to make a decision, Taurus. Clear energy of making a decision, deciding. Wonderful. Two of Swords. For a lot of you, the... Okay, let me clarify what is the strength first. Seven of Cups in the reverse position. You have choices. You might have to decide. You might have to... Um... But the best part is that as you stay strong, as you hold back... Your confusion will be coming to an end. The clouds of confusion, they will be going away. Definitely. Work out here. Look at that. Let's see. Why is this devil energy? I want to clarify devil energy. Five of wands. Somebody bringing conflict. Whoa. Okay, somebody is in love with you. Gemini, four of pentacles. Somebody is really in love with you. Very obsessed. Very much in love. Right? Very much in love, very decisive, stepping up. For a lot of you, the choice is between some unhealthy love attachment and somebody coming in. You know, somebody's guidance is going to make you wise here. What is the tower moment? Let's see. What is this tower energy here? Four of hands, okay. 
very unexpected energy four of wands look at the fours here four of wands four of cups okay for someone specific i just felt that there is a proposal of getting married or getting settled this can be coming from your family some some extended family or uh, somebody from distant some distant family connection this person is trying to contact you right or you're getting a message from some common family member or extended family member and you you're not accepting you're not interested meanwhile there is a love connection here you're waiting for that proposal you know it's like the one i want to level up and confess they're not doing that and meanwhile other people are approaching me i'm not interested what are you waiting for let's see three of wands eventually three of cups yeah are you waiting for reconciliation for a lot of you you're waiting for this person to level up and come in to meet you come in to see you come and uh, uh, what should i say come and approach you I see this person is finally coming up and maybe asking for a date. What is this? Yeah, they're going to go. Three of Pentacles. Three of Cups, three of Pentacles. Interesting. Coming in to approach you. You know, the interesting thing is, let me clarify some thoughts. You're having some understanding here very soon. Some understanding is going to take place. That is that your decision will be based on this understanding. Because your experience is making you wiser. So now when you make this decision... Can you see that? Now when you make this decision, it's going to be based, it's going to be based on a lot of other understandings, not just simply somebody coming in and you reacting to the proposal. Holy, yeah, look at the judgment call. Oh my God. Finally, the one you want to level up an approach and make a proposal. A person is doing that. For a lot of you, I am picking up that the new proposal coming in, you are just turning it down because the one you want to level up and propose, level up and work on the connection this person is doing that five of swords can so if you are listening to tarot readings from a few years a few months now you can understand how tarot works right how monthly and how weekly tarot readings work so this ten of pentacles might not be getting married or happily ever after you know getting married or something like that but this can be working on your long-term stability with each other working on your conversation working on your stability working with families you're getting my point. So you have to understand how tarot readings work. Let's see. Let's see. This is for Gemini. Let's first see what is this lover's energy for Gemini. Okay. Past love. Yes, I, I totally felt that. And again, a lot of cards from the Taurus reading, they're coming up. There is somebody from the past here. What is this two of cups I want to see? Look at that. Making sense? Look at that. No coincidence here, right? Winning, dining, romance. This is the love connection. I see you having, oh, look at that gossip. Be careful of three of cups, gossip and energy. People are gossiping. You have to just be careful that you don't accept unnecessary criticism. Feeling it. For some of you, I'm picking up that you might end up meeting this person's family or, you know, there's a dinner. The people are planning to make the families meet or something like that. Something surrounding the family is coming in. Maybe a wiser older person is there who is... Uh, telling you something this might hurt you make you feel very dissatisfied this can cause a conflict also between you and the one you're dealing with but let's see then yeah look at that spiritual growth learning and expanding the soul so you might realize that i need to calm myself down and look at the bigger picture it is going to cause some conflict between you and this person but eventually you both are eventually you both are sorting it out this person is coming back to sort out things work it out what is his judgment Look at that union. Look at that. Serious relationship, marriage and partnership. So this can end up in a long-term commitment, bond, working it out. Right? Wonderful, wonderful energy here. Very interesting energy, Taurus. You're working on your partnership with somebody here. Right? I do feel that you're finally getting ready to work on your partnership with somebody. Let's get a card of advice for you. This is for Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Sun, Jupiter, Gemini. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see if it comes back in Gemini. My energies are strong, Gemini. My energies are strong. Look at that. Thank you. Wonderful. Let's. Oh, we have two cards already here. And we're going to read this card too. So first we have High Priestess and Star. Both are very intuitive, very divine cards. High Priestess, meditate and turn inwards to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. 
develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. High Priestess Energy, Hanged Man, all these cards talk about the same thing. And then Star, have faith the future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. Making sense? And then finally, this beautiful card, Independence and, you know, you finally, finally that energy of um, your hard work giving you results. Enjoying the fruits of your labor, hard work that has led to luxurious life, buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed, enjoying the solitude. So for a lot of you, for some time, you might take a break. Something can happen in this relationship. It is going to get affected. For some of you, I'm picking up some family member or somebody, somebody who's common to both of you. This person might say something, but eventually you both are coming into union again. So if you, you're finally together. You finally, you both are together, right? Amazing, amazing energy. So for a lot of you, I am getting this feeling that I should have one card from this deck. And then we will wind up this reading, right? Then we will wind up this reading. So this is for... Gemini, one card from this deck and we will wind up this reading. This is somehow, so this is for your relationship because for a lot of you I am picking up that something happened in your relationship or the one you're dealing with, this person said something or their family or said a family said something. Whoa, look at that. When it comes to the matters of heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So whatever you decide, <laughs> it's coming from within. Right? It, it is about deeper understanding. Look at that Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords. It's about deeper understanding of life and love. Right, So, wonderful. If you, I would say, um, whatever decision you're making, just let it assimilate. Whatever you experience it, let it assimilate. Let that energy of, you know, understanding come out. Be more wiser. Learn from this experience. And just let it be, you know, it's nothing wrong or right. You might feel that this person, what they have done is wrong or what, how they behaved was wrong, how their family behaved was wrong. Something on that front can happen. But understand that this is just something you have to learn. This is just something you, that is going to expand your consciousness and understanding towards love overall and life altogether. Right, so I'm going to leave you here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.